Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all, y'all? Sam is Slam here. Welcome back to another Slam News Review. And on the comedy train, uh, we are out of horror for a minute. I'm, I'm more of a horror guy, but um, we got to find out, and we are picking out Meatballs Part 2. I decided, well, I mean, this this movie app site that I use... It's like an it's like an online digital fucking days video. Back when I was a kid, days of video was amazing with these you know these VHSs. The movies that one I, I was young, you know, and I want to see these on older. And I get to had the chance since basically the new since the new year. I've been watching tons and tons of movies galore. And the Meatball series, which I love, the first one, the first one's one hell of a favorite of mine. Th this one. Not so much. This one was Meatballs. One is number is is nine out of ten because nothing can be perfect. I'm not going to use ten in anything. This Meatballs and I looked at the rating for for the I think the rating was like six point seven. They it got a three point something. This film, I, I just damn. It feels like a TV movie and well, no, it's because of the call that I used, but. I mean, it's a different, um, yeah, it's a, it's a different, see, it's the Meatball franchise, summer camps, and, but it's the, it's not the same camp with Bill Murray using and stuff. I saw a review on YouTube talking about, oh, Meatballs too. Bill Murray's dead, <laughs> you know, and, I mean, and the people, I mean, it, I don't know how to explain this shit to, I don't know, I mean, it's just, this film is not going to be seen again for me. I mean, you have basically, uh, and there's some acting, there, there's some actors on here that you know, like John, I forget, I can't say his name, Jag Mogu, Jag, John Mago, he, he put, I don't know, but he plays the colonel, or the lieutenant, Fox Wolf, whatever, he, the, the, the Matillary Camp's, sec, like, secretary, basically, general or whatever he's on here um who else is on here shit oh rich i think richard mulligan or whatever the the guy from uh soap the movie the tv series soap and there's some other uh, jason hervey when he's a kid he's a kid he's a little youngster in here but the thing is though it was just like meatballs one the thing about meatballs one and meatballs two that i like the same words you, they got everything you got the counselors you get screen time for the counselors, screen time for the dang um, teens, screen time for the damn children. And what does the what and what do they do for the children in this one? What do they do around it? This movie came around, came around in the early '80s around E.T. They have actually put a fucking alien in this movie, a friendly alien. That I, I, when I was watching the scenes of this film with the kids and stuff, it's like, what the fuck am I watching? A Barney episode? And here's the things too. I think was there titties in this? Maybe not. But man, they have. This was like a raunchy. I never seen with kids in a when in, in raunchy scenes after. It was like a family rated R film. But with the alien meathead, or but it's saying meathead, um. I mean, it's just the all the this the, the just the 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 CGI or whatever the, the special effects they used for. I mean, it, it was fucking weird. Uh, so you got that um, the character you got uh, you got a uh, Flash. See, I forgot the guy's name, Scamanchi, but here's Flash. He's the main. The thing is though, he's now in this the Meatballs franchise is basically the theme of this film. That's all it is in these movies. So when you're watching these movies, you don't really have a favorite. I mean, you could if you want to. Or you can just say, hey, I'd rather just choose the whole... the the Just like wrestling. There's, I don't have really much favorites. I just like the WWE... People just like the WWE brand. Um, because, oh, he's involved. He's involved. But this... I mean, it has that. And I, I enjoyed it. I like the summer, the summer school aspect and stuff with the kids and... The fucking the handicapped kid going in front of the bus and stuff. That's hilarious. You think it was someone else? Like I thought it was gonna be like the the new version of Tripper from the first one, but no. 
But they have their guy named Flash. He's the the this damn John Travolta greaseball. But he's carrying and he's looking. He's carrying these Gino Hernandez. He's a old wrestler. Car he's he's carrying the he he looks like him, and he talks like oh yeah come on baby like this fucking I I fucking cannot stand I have no problem with these people but it just annoys the shit man these fucking greaser ball type guys it's like hey, boo -boo, you know shit he's got a fight in a boxing match against ogre. Now, when I say Ogre, oh, I forgot the guy's name, but his name is Mad Dog in this movie, but he plays Ogre in the Revenge of the Nerds uh, series, which I do want to check out in the future. I don't know, know when, uh, but definitely, for sure, I want to do those reviews. Who knows, me and uh, Sparky might do that review series. Um, I really had nothing really memorable to watch about this. I mean, the leader of the, the group... Well, you had the other guy. I mean, because you had these little storylines. So you have him. He's they, they had this, the main storylines that is the guy from the military fucking camp. Sa it's Camp Sasquatch versus Camp something. This camp military shit. He wants the whole land, and he tells Griffin like they're gonna set like the, have a boxing match he ever wins. So it's between that guy and them and they try to fuck him over and stuff like that oh no, yeah by the way also I forgot Paul Rubens is in this who plays Pee Wee Herman and he's just a regular side like just on just on the go just the character just there and it's hilarious he was in he was in character mode pissing off the military piece of shit <laughs> like a monk or something um but not too many characters. I I I just I'm just gonna watch this. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna watch this and just for the fucking movie franchise, just for the the sake of the series and whatnot. Nothing memorable. And then you had, but you had the other person who's trying to have sex with his girlfriend, who has the most annoyingest voice ever. See, the thing is though, the counselors, the the CIA's counselors in training, and the from the first the original one to the second one here. Had the first one had they had more character and more story. These are just oh yeah, and there's a lot of fucking pinky references in this film. Pinkies referring to penises. And Cheryl is the chick that uh, Flash is trying to go after and shit. They have a skinny dip time or whatever or tried to. It's they they she's never seen a penis before and they had these they, when they're talking about pinkies and shit. I'm like. Like, I've never... This is the first film ever I would he I'd hear the word pinkies referring to a penis. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. Um, a lot of cringeworthy moments in this movie, I had to say. Um, but at the very end, uh, I, it, it, with the boxing match and stuff, and with the alien helping him out, it was okay. It was alright, but... The, 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 triflon, the triflon, whatever the fuck it was in the original one, to this one or whatever the fuck they did from the original this one first one blows this one out of the fucking water didn't really care for this shit i like the little the paul rubens and the the scenes there's some some funny scenes in here and then you have the alien shit it's like et meets fucking damn sex comedy i'm like i was glad when this movie's over and i don't think no one's even reviewed this film I th I, mean, I don't know why I did, but I wanted to see this series because Meatballs Three is the next movie I want to see. Which is a f when I when I see these films because when I see these films I'm like I, I like these Meatballs franchises. I I seen this in days video when I was a young kid, but I rented Meatballs Three with Patrick Dempsey, which I don't know who Patrick Dempsey was, but was watched the film because I was in a titty phase trying to conceal naked tits and shit and nudity. That's all I cared about. That was my introduction before porn, was getting VHS tapes, radar, and seeing titties and shit. But, um, yeah, I got Meatballs, and and Meatballs 3 is one that I've seen, it's been years, and I tell you what, when I do this review, it's gonna do some, it's gonna do a lot of fucking flashbacks, and I'm definitely gonna watch this fully, and I will definitely review it for you guys. And then there's Meatballs 4. Meatballs 4 that I'm really uh, excited, even though it gets shitted on or whatnot. Just, I just want a fun movie to watch. Meatballs 2 was not really fun. It was just a uh, watch along, ha ha ha, but never really to be memorable here. 
I mean, I could say the alien seems I mean, memorable, but uh, I just can't believe they put a fucking alien. It's like okay, I know it's a movie, but really, you the the, the aliens, the, the the parent aliens is like, oh, you love this camp, like oh, good god, and he's there in a fucking raincoat or suit. He's just there, no one, no one's saying anything. Um. But like I said, Meatballs 4 is with Corey Feldman, and that's one thing that I'm really looking forward to, because I've seen this, these VHS covers, I'm like, well, you don't want to see that. But this right here, Meatballs Part 2, without a doubt, a basically a shit show. Not even fucking, it doesn't even, it's not even the fucking Meatballs, the original's league. It's just bullshit. And it's fucking, so, there's a lot of non-funny moments, and I just, no. But that's my take on uh, uh, Meatballs Part Two. You can take, you don't have to, have to like it. I don't care. But I couldn't stand this flick, and this is definitely not fucking rewatchable. And I don't recommend this film. Just check out the first Meatballs because that's all you need to watch is that Meatballs. That Meatballs is the best ever. But I'm in the hell out of here. I'm STS. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.